Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and, well, we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say, so far. Right now, we have just under 15 infamy, and it's time to finally, finally end Moldavian self-rule. Ever since the 1829 Treaty of Adrianople, Wallachia and Moldavia were placed under the Russian military rule without overturning Ottoman suzerainty. Under the Treaty of Adrianople, the Sultan guaranteed the previous promised autonomy to Serbia, promised autonomy for Greece, and allowed Russia to occupy Moldavia and Wallachia until the Ottoman Empire had paid a large indemnity. By establishing our dominance over these provinces, we had expelled the Russian rulers and annexed them back to the Ottoman Empire, centralizing rule and restoring order to these territories that belong in our empire. They can, however, resist, which would lead to a war with them and potentially any great powers that do support them. This decision will also sour our relations with other great powers, especially the Russians. And we don't really care, though, to be honest with you. All right, they say no. We go in. We got a lot more infamy. Actually, we've got a pretty good army. Uh, let's take a look here. We need to raise this up a little bit more. And let's raise it up. Let's raise it out to max. Actually, we got a, an okay stop. Well, we don't actually have an okay stop. I'll tax the middle class. And actually, you guys are doing okay. Let's see. I'm gonna grab one of you guys. Russia won't get involved because they're actually at war with Sweden. So here's the thing. Sweden went to war with Russia because they thought they could acquire Russian tar Turku. So go figure. How's it we're going for them actually? Uh, well, it's going okay for the Swedes. Definitely going okay. I'm going to call you guys over, too, just in case. Perhaps a little bit more help, so that would be nice. Uh, go ahead and come up here. Yep. Well, that's not good. If that's the case, can I call the Germans, maybe? They will accept. All right. Sounds great to me. Max it out. Uh, let's go up to 75%, maybe, tariffs. We're going to need some money for this. All right. Okay, so Russia... As we saw in the last episode, or maybe, like I told you guys, they were defeated by rebel reactionaries. Not too bad. They were defeated by the Japanese. And now they went to war with me for Moldavia? Son. Russia. When are you going to learn your lesson, old man? How's Austria Hungary doing? They're just kind of hanging out there. So, do that just in case, too. And Germany's not been in war for a while, I think. I mean, the last time they went to war was, like, with Sokoto or whatever. So, if Spain wants an alliance. Are you out with anyone? No. I'm not sure no, then. Let's see. Assume leadership against a war. Cool. As long as they get Moldavia, that's all I really want. I'd love to siege down all of Russia again, but, you know, we'll see what happens. Kadesi, very good. Good, good, good. Um, I'm calling you over here, too, just to deal with those guys first. You guys are just kind of hanging out. You need more infantry. Holy cow. I mean, army's fifth in the world for being in size, so that's not too bad. Making some more money. Which, hello. Ottoman reactionaries. What the heck? Where'd you guys come from? Feminology? Cool. More prestige? I love it. Oh, are we... Okay, then. Well, I'll take the port, and that'll be good. Um, okay. Well, whatever. Slowly going to siege him down, so that's what matters. Congrats, you took one tile. Uh, I do not want to be attacking them because that'd probably not be good, very good for us, so. Um, you can go right there. There you go. We could try an attack, but it probably won't go very well for us. And you guys are almost done, too. Russia's already mobilized. Actually, this will help out the Swedes quite a bit, because they are already at war, so. And Germany is just... Well, they're going in. That's all I can say. It's just, Germany's going to have a good time. And we hope they have a great time. Russia is a vacation spot. Uh, right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you. Thank you. Battle of Galati. Going quite nicely, I'd say. Stay right there, guys. Go and see Jamal. You guys, just go and stop doing that for now, and can hang out. Do we get that other army up here, too, to help out? And how are you guys looking? 12,000. We need another cavalry division, which is hopefully going to be made soon. Um, maybe not. Let's, let's see if we can build another horse division. Debra Tabor. Hopefully that's around here somewhere. Oh, good. 46% of our population can read. Not bad. Not bad, I'd say. There we go. Got the guy moving up. They, I mean, they are civilized. They have no... Up there. Uh, support the movement for organic work. That's good. Of course, Ottoman curricula. You bet your butts. Yes, yes, yes. Now, with this many soldiers, could we actually win here, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, yeah. We're losing so many guys every single day. The general's dead. 
Oh well. Oh, hey, the Swedes got it. They got Russian Turku. That's Karelia. Oh, is it up here? No? What, what is Turku? Oh, was it down here? Yeah, it is. Wow. Not bad. Good job, guys. Not bad. Now, obviously, this battle's not going to go very well for us. So, yeah. Raider Group Doctrine, almost done as well. Which we need Steel Steamers to help unlock the Dark Continent. Oh, wait. We're taking over. Oh, that's so bad. A crossing and entrenchment and such and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. So, we got breech loaded rifles. Navy wise, we need Steel Steamers, but we also need military logistics. So, we'll go with military plans. We're really far behind on a lot of stuff here. Hopefully, we can win. Maybe, maybe we can. Maybe we, we, we actually might not be able to win. Because I didn't realize we were attacking over a river and such. That's a really good dash roll, but they got good dash roll as well. We'll probably... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, come on. Let's... Oh, we lost. Are you kidding me? Why? You can't tell that... You almost can't even tell that there's, a, there's a river there. That's so stupid. That is beyond stupid. Uh, Cyanide or whatever. Really? Okay, so they're attacking us over a river. That means we should be able to hold out, right? We're not attacking. Get out, get out. That's so stupid. Oh, Moldavia, you should have you should have just peacefully gone into the night. Oh, it's gonna be the hell are you No. There's so there's people over here taking these guys out. What the heck? Nice these guys are doing something. That's good. Well, Russia, Russia, Russia. Come on, get through another month so we can get some more uh Supply for our guys. They just destroyed that army too, so... I'm gonna... Oh, man. Once the option is available, I'm gonna make sure that... All the people over here, the Romanians, they are not gonna live. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. Good. I still got a good amount of money. Yeah, come on in. See what happens. Come on in and see what happens when you attack me when I'm, when I'm on defense. Get rid of these Moldavians. Alright, so we're not going to go back up north. We're going to go over here. Make it, these guys look really weak. You know, there is a river, so if they attack us, we're completely surrounded here. So, at least we learned about geography today. That's always helpful. Uh, we read this last time, too. Go from the coal pits. Unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. But it is what it is. So much infamy. Good. What's the worst war like right now? Should be okay. Yeah, Ottoman War of Aggression. Germany, we love you. We we'll love the Germans until we have to kill them all. Which we might, we might not. So let's see what happens. God, rebels though. Oof. I have a feeling the Germans might just peace out. Or they might just add some more war goals too. You never know. You never know what the AI is going to do. That definitely hit our army score though. We're only at 150 now. Oof. Hello. Oh, we got it. Oh, oh, they do not want to attack anymore, huh? I see. Just keep these guys here for now. Oh, hello. Okay, so we got some social reforms. Nice. Ooh, ooh, oh, ho, oh, oh. I want education. I want better education for the people, but I want health care. Oh, we gotta get health care. Cultural rights. More simulation rate. Oh, there's so much I want to do here. What do people want, though? Child labor restricted, so we won't do child labor just because people want it and they'll fight again for it, so if you get health care. More population, please. Oh, look at this. Nice, they want Lithuania, huh? That's fine with me. Go ahead and take it. Go back to Izmit time. Awesome. Oh, hello. Russians have a few socialists that they don't that they probably don't want war. That's good. Hey, we got that good. We're gonna grab military statistics next. For more army organization. Thank you. Actually, how are our national spirits? What is this? Occupation. Beginning to occupy. Serbia is looking not that great. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. How's this looking? Not bad. And I'm getting better. Because last time we took out all the Eastern Horn of Africa for the most part. And we gotta get your booty. And I want to... Wow. Spain just annexed all of them. Wow. Hate to be them. Hey, fully funded healthcare. Finally. At this point in the campaign, um, I just don't think I can lower... Um... 
or go to war anymore because I, we've got to save our infamy. Well, maybe we'll go to war eventually, but like we got to save infamy points for great wars and such because they will happen eventually. So just give it some time, and we'll be there and doing stuff like that. So right, more ports? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Enable port. Oh god, these are super expensive. It costs almost thirty-five thousand pounds. Holy crudderinos! Good. Nice. We're pretty prestigious, though. It's a good thing going for prestige technologies. On the fifth, they're good. Then the fourth. Let them come in. I'll actually have you guys stop that. And guys, come over here and do that. We might be able to surround these guys, maybe. If we had more armies around here, but whatever. We can put. Pretty good for some reason. Oh! Flying University. Horrid, absolutely horrid. Shutting it down. As she makes her way through the city, dodging shadows as if they were autumn soldiers, she, the illuminated clock tower of the church seemed to glare at her like a mean, infected yellow eye. She's already late, but class is still in session. An underground university is formed in Ulsinj, providing higher education despite the ban on minority languages in academia. Uh, sure, shut it down, go right ahead. And what happened with the PCL? Okay. Acquire Lithuania. Well, obviously, that is really stupid, and we should have them. So I will be right back, in which we will have them under us. Alright, everyone, so here we are, and it's 1886, and we are doing some screwed propelled steamers. Now, I'm letting time go on. We're still a semi constitutional monarchy, and I decided, you know what, let's go with the Socialist Party for now, instead of the reactionary, just because. Uh, we get protectionism, pretty much the same thing, actually, the same thing as it, uh, these guys. Protectionism, state capitalism, the, the reactionary party which we were on has moralism and residency and jingoism, but the socialist party has pluralism, full citizenship, which I like, and then pro-military, which is not bad. We probably won't stay socialist, but I did this just because I wanted to authorize a Bulgarian exarchate. In order to combat the growing threat of Bulgarian nationalism, we can give the Bulgarian diocese the right to organize an exarchate within Ottoman territory. Nominally, Bulgarian Orthodox Christians are loyal to the Orthodox Patriarch in Constantinople, but they do have an exarchate of their own to help smooth or soothe their nationalist angst. This exarchate will be made without the blessing of the Patriarch of Constantinople, so it would also introduce ethno-nationalist tensions in Christians in our Balkan lands, which would help solve help in sowing discord and distrust among Christians in our lands. Cool. I just want to get that done because it seems like an interesting thing to do. We need to build the Suez Canal, so we need to get machine tools next. Um, and, well, machine tools, screw propelled steamers, as well as business banks. So, I'll be doing a lot of this off-screen just because it helps speed things up and speed time up as well. But regardless, I will see you in just a little bit once again. Alright, everyone, and here we have it. I should really stop using the word alright, but we have no money, but it is now... January 1st, 1890, and we just got the event, which I guess we can't see, uh, that we can now go ahead and colonize some areas in Africa. I love it. Djibouti, yes please. And these areas down here, and these areas, and also Sweden got the Congo. Swedish Congo Free State. <sighs> I don't know about that, but whatever. I come over here too, because I'd like to take as much of the Middle East, Middle East, uh, Northern Africa as much as possible. And I would really like to colonize areas so that we can connect all of our lands together. That'd be kind of a good idea. Actually, yeah, I need to call in this. Uh, actually, this one. If the Germans take this area, Kenya, then we would have a problem here, but we might be able to avoid that if we do that quick enough. Let's see. That's a really good way of the map button to see. Okay, if we have to, that's fine. We'll do that one. We have enough colonial points, actually. We've got a lot of colonial points, which is really nice. Anywhere around here? Anywhere around here? Nope. Nope. Oh, that's pretty much all the areas that we can do. We're going to look really nice. We have co quite a few other comments to get to because I didn't get to them earlier in the episode. Hello there. Coffee? Don't mind if I do. I wish I had some coffee with me. I'm glad I colonized or got over to Asia over here. Anything else around the world? Alaska? No? Okay. Doesn't look like too much else for now, which is totally fine. I wish we could colonize Central Australia or Inner Australia, but whatever. Yeah, it doesn't look like too much else. Actually... Okay, so America at least has a nicer border that way. That's not, that's not too bad. Canada still exists, of course. Uh, we'll get some comments after one more quick look. Cool. We're making a good amount of money as well. So we're still socialists for now. We have how many people in our population? 81 million. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Uh, let's see. Serbia, we're trying to do some bureaucrats. Over here, we're trying to get some more bureaucrats. Lebanon. Sinai. As well as Basra. Or, yeah, Basra. So, a couple comments. Do decisions to get more accepted cultures. Um, yeah, I need to talk about this too, but yes, that comment. Yes, I want to do that as fast as, or as quick as possible, but 
first of all, we have to be a constitutional monarchy, which means we got to get more people to vote, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I don't believe... Oh, maybe I won't say I won't believe in monarchies, but in America, the difference between the constitutional, absolute, and semi-constitutional monarchy are very blurred. All we see are monarchy, so we don't know about that. Uh, we're actually eighth in the world in the industry, which is really nice, but we got to get a constitutional monarchy, which I assume means we need to get more people to vote, and we have to have all the rights allowed, or all allowed rights, so which is political rights, which is down here, which is going to take some time to get to. So... Cultural rights, we got to get down first. Only 0.08% of our population actually wants that. There's that. So let's talk about this. So, uh, actually, let me go and click that back over here. We don't want to release anybody. No way. Um, first of all, we have the Soviet Union, as we saw. Uh, yeah, they're, they're still here. But then Chechnya is here. Because, okay, so France, they took up the idea of having independent Chechnya. And Germany was at war, war with, I believe, an African nation. So they didn't get involved. So, yeah. Chechnya is here. Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, and they're in the American sphere, okay? You're going to defaults. Very apparently, that's on debts from here on out. But actually, we're still some power in the world. Oh, God, we got a lot of rebels now. Soviet Union is actually below us, which is great because they have low prestige. They actually have an industry, an industry that isn't that much higher than us. Huh. They have a few more units than us. So. Oh, God, we have communists. Oh, this. Oh, my gosh. This is the first time this has ever happened. Uh, raise that up. Raise that up. And actually raise up the tariffs because we need more money for this. Raise up more money. We gotta get the money flowing. Because we don't have that much money. I spent a lot on the military or other stuff. Oh, we still social spending too. Uh, you can lower this by pretty much everything for now. Oh, we're gonna be in debt. That's not good. I gotta raise taxes then. Because as soon as we put down all these rebels, then... I hope we don't turn communist. Then our budget will be looking a little bit better. Oh, come on, man. Don't lose the battle. You can't lose the capital of... F of anything. In don't lose the capital. Please, for the love of God, do not lose the capital. Once we put out down all these rubbles, that'll be good. And then we obviously are going to have quite a bit of debt here, which really, really sucks, but whatever. All I care about is colonizing. <laughs> uh, would you like to increase relations? I mean, the Americans kind of like us. The Germans are our allies. The British kind of like us until they want to take apart our lands. Gosh darn Brits. Oh my gosh. Actually, there's not too many communists down here. Then again, what do you expect? And Germany, we might have to give this up to Germany. Oh, oh, hello. And are they doing? Yep, everyone wants this area down here. It's understandable why. But we'll probably have to give it up just because it it doesn't matter that much. Because eventually, we. Well, first of all, we have no money, and we probably we might even go bankrupt because of all this crap. Um. Oh my gosh, so many people are part of militant socialists. Oh, we got a lot of infamy too, so. Okay, get a battleship though. But as long as our capital's okay. Oh, look at this. We can invest in our colonies. Good. Germany, no. We love you, Germany, but this is wrong. Uh, can we do anything there? No. Anything over here? Anything over here? No, no, no. It's alright. Oh, we just kicked someone out. Uh, I guess we could just kick out Portugal. Anyone else? Down here too. Um, Southern New Guinea. Oh, we need a bigger naval base then. That sucks. That doesn't make any sense. Bali is not close enough. Oh, we need more range. Hmm. Did we not build a naval port here? No, we did. Well, that sucks. You know, if we can't even reach it, that's fine. We're just we're gonna leave it then. This way, I, I want to make sure that we keep an eye on what what areas are new and what stuff we can get, so. Oh god, we got so much debt. Hey, we got more research done, though. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done here, actually. We got steel, steamers, our industry's look, looking not too bad. Expressionism. Let's see, actually, culture-wise. Yeah, I mean, other people said that to core lands, we need 2% of accepted cultures, including our primary culture, like Turkish, to be, become bureaucrats. Yes, it's absolutely true. So to do this, get some more colonial migration. So, we, I've, I've already done all the education stuff, so hopefully that works for us well. I've done no introspection, which I'm completely ignoring. I want a little bit more money, so I'm going to go with tax efficiency, so. Elections. Cruisers can be made. Uh, someone also recommends we get capitalists. And I should not say we will see that much, because apparently I say it all the time. I probably do say that all the time, don't I? So, maybe we'll see. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's just something I just, I go to, oh, Heart of Darkness. 
The Ottoman Empire is in shock. A major new European newspaper published a report today on the conditions of one of the colonies. Brutal mistreatment of natives, corporal punishment, repeated instances of bodily mutilations have all been established. Means of maintaining the colonial order in the colony and mines on plantations, which have all been kept outside the influence of the colonial office through the elaborate systems of bribes and corruption. Uh, I don't want to get any more infamy. Oh, crap. Really? I'd rather do that one. We get a little bit less infamy. German Africa is looking kind of wild, though. And the French want that, huh? So be it. God darn, communists. You're ruining the budget for literally everybody. If we can't have it, then no one can. That's a terrible mindset to have. I'm going to need my ships, actually. God dang it. Don't do that, too. Help out. They want Crete? Oh, I do have my ships over here, so... Actually, you guys are not looking good at all. No, thank you. Yeah, we have a lot of debt. Spend more than the Navy. And I'll have you guys come over here. It's going to take a while for them to get over here, because we got to get these islands back. You have them full citizenship, that'd be fine. Of course not. Ottoman Thessaly, Mongolia. There we go. Put them down, put them down. The budget will come back as soon as all the commies are dead. Hopefully. So that's why I kept I keep putting a lot of bureaucrats around here. Just because it's um Hello. Yep, we got a lot of colonial points, Germany. I mean, there's no way I can fight a war against Germany, so. If we get them great, if not, whatever. Now we're looking a little better here. Oh, except for some of the islands. Which not look very good at all. It's alright. How dare they hurt our industry. Separate. I mean, I don't really care about that too much. Protectionism? Sure, why not? Alright, so that's looking a little better. And maybe we'll get some more money from ta stock exchange. Like classical theory. Actually, does that give us anything else? Furniture factory. Uh, why not? Now I just gotta wait on the ships. Oh, tensions dissipate. That's good. That tensions dissipate. We gotta get down there. Oh, a little bit of auto saving. What's going on here? Oh, of course they went to war with. Ch hmm. Are they allied with the French? No. Oh, of course not. Cyprus. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so we can actually do another reform. Finally. That's been so long. Uh, weighted wealth. Ooh. What do people want the most? Weighted wealth voting. Jefferson method. Uh, appointed. Underground. Immigrant attraction. Ruling party support goes down. More immigrant attraction. Or your draft. Hmm. Universal voting. That's a lot more immigrant attraction. Well, let's choose... What? Based on population? Harassment? Only underground political parties? And we'll do that anyways. Why not? We'll give them what they want for now. I should have done other stuff, but whatever. Alright, ships are here. That's good. Uh, let's see. Actually, where are you going? You're going all the way... You know what? You can come back over here then. That's fine. And we're spending a lot of money on military stuff anyway, so we can slash that down a little bit more. That'd be good. Can we at least make a profit? That's good, because we've got to pay off a lot of debt now. Thanks a lot, communists. You've made the situation worse for everyone, including yourselves. Now you're going to have no jobs. Good job. What if you just showed up into there? See what happens. Let me make another transport for, this, for these guys. Well, managed to be like, let's go right ahead. Eh, just a little bit of money. We didn't have any money anyway, so that's alright. Oh, wait. Oh, it's over here. Hey, protectorate. Nice. Great. I love Djibouti. Djibouti's great. Djibouti's real great. Can we do this area? The French. The Brits. Create a protectorate. Don't mind if we do. Can't do that area up there. Nice. Actually, by contesting the Germans with this, we can actually expand this here a little bit more quickly then. Not a bad idea. Good. Oh, look at that. The Saharan Frontier. Look at that. With the nomads of Saharan Desert have always been too troubled with not enough benefits to be kept under control. I think I've read this before. With the great powers quickly setting out to carve Africa, establishing proper borders and proper control of even remote regions becomes a necessity. We can strike out a series of treaties to help up set up the front Saharan Frontier of our territories and eliminate any possibility of border conflicts here. Beautiful, my friends. Nice. 
Look at that. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. You're gonna make bigger armies, though. Chad? What a Chad. Oh, I love it. Actually, I doubt there's anything else now. Because we have a bunch of Africa. I love Africa. I was gonna say something else with that, but never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I love Africa. And Span. Spanish? Spanish people, hello? Actually, we have Belgium in our sphere for some reason. Uh, Belgium, hello. French? I think we also wanted Switzerland in our sphere. Dude, dude. Yeah, we've been blocked. We've been blocked. It's alright. Good. Beat him up. Beat him down. If I'm contesting the Germans here, they can't get any more colonies. And we're ahead, which is awesome, 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 awesome. And of course, we saw the Philippines here earlier, I think. Wow, the French, they actually took out Thailand. They don't normally take out Thailand. That's not very historical. But whatever. Austria-Hungary, I don't want to have high, super high relations with you. China will be very good to get eventually someday. Like, as an ally, they got a massive military. Everything else is kind of garbage. But a pretty good military. Rich fertilizers? Ooh, sulfur, nice. Conservatives and reactionary parties won, so we're no longer socialists. Okay. Holy set disturb. If you like to go ahead, who gives a hooter about the religion? I'm gonna go and start repaying some of this loan off, that'd be good. Um, yeah, we're taxing the heck out of everyone here. Which I really don't like. If you're no longer socialist, and actually Oh, we can't do state capitalism. Oh man, that sucks. Um hmm. I like state capitalism a lot. Actually, we have a socialist party. And another socialist party, oh. They're anti-military, though. They're full welfare. They're both full welfare, paternalistic. That's why I like the reactionary for your state capitalism, because I like to build stuff in my own areas. But you know what? 1890, I think we'll be okay with this. So, it should be okay. And actually, presidency, pro-military. And also, to get this decision, too, we cannot be... Do not have residency as a citizenship policy. So that's why I kind of went socialist as well earlier. So, All right, put you guys back on the boat. Head on over. To Cyprus. Put him down. Disgusting. Uh, put you guys up there because I want at least one army for every tile we have with the Soviets. So that would be very good. Very good. Okay, head on over here and get back on the boat. We're going back to Tripoli. Favorite place in the world. Hey, we're actually six in the world for great power status. Nice, not bad. Not bad. And we set those guys off. Do we have any more rebels anywhere? Not anywhere super connected. We need to improve you too. Um, yeah, it's not looking too bad. So there's not really much else going on. I guess the French have a few social troubles here, maybe. Yep, militant socialists. Ooh, they got some social communists there too. Wow. And Chechnya is not looking good. Do we have any rebels here? No, it's a little surprising. So, I guess um, we will reconvene when there's something else major that has happened. See you in a little bit. Well, would you look at that at the top of the screen? It's now 1892. And I've just invested more in my military because we've got a certain person here that wants a little bit of help. And that person is Deutschland. So, here we go, everyone. Germany wants help against the German French War of Honor against France. We're going to join in because, actually, Ah, we're finding Portugal as well, you see. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Humiliate France. You know, I'm okay with that. If we can knock them even further down below us, because they actually have 200 more score than us, 230-some, um, that'd be very good. So, we're going to go to war. Our armies are nowhere near ready, but it's near the end of the month, so whatever. And we're still trying to do some colonizing around here, maybe around here or even here. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm not too concerned about that right now. Oh, we got pretty much all the colonies that I wanted. Even France is not having some good times, especially in their colonies as well. Our colonies are doing great. Over here, we're doing okay. So, war! Alright, so how do we get to France? Um, I'm going to put you guys... I'm going to keep you guys there. Keep you guys there. You guys are looking exceedingly weak. About three over here anyways. And all three over here too. Once we're done with this war, we're going to reform some of our army as well. I've just been here making a lot of money. Building up a lot more roads. Love it. Also, we did... We were able to core one place. We were able to core, like, was it Western Syria? No. It was, yeah, Western Syria, right here. So that'd be great. We're still at 100% state administ administrative efficiency, but whatever. It is what it is. 
And with Germany here, I have a good feeling with the France having so many rebels, this could probably break France uh, if they lose the war, which they will. So, all right, we don't have a lot of guys, but good luck. The great oh, hello, great wars. We have before us an ordeal of the most grievous kind. We have. Before us, many. Many months of struggle and suffering. You ask, what is our policy? I say it is to wage war by land, sea, and air with all of our might and all the strength God has given us and to wage war against a monstrous tyranny never surpassed in the dark and lamentable catalog of human crime. That is our work, our policy. You ask, what are our aims? I can answer in one word. It is victory. Victory at all costs. Victory in spite of all terrors. Victory, however long and hard the road may be, for without victory there is no survival. Growing national pride in countries around the world has reached the point where people will not accept anything less than total victory when great powers clash. From now on, any conflict with at least two great powers on each side will be guarded as a great war. God help us all. Awesome. But this is not a great war, I believe, because, yeah, it's, Portugal's not a great power. Yet. So we still want to get a lot of rebels, but I think we'll be okay, even if we do, so. And we're doing regenerative furnaces, so I should probably do more military stuff. Yeah, we should... Yeah, I mean, we're making a good amount of money. I mean, tariffs are sent to 100%, which, you know, sucks for everyone who's trying to buy goods. Hey, more tax efficiency. Don't mind if we do. We got a... Yeah, look at that. 100% taxes. I lowered taxes to 0% on all those people down there. I think it's time to maybe get some army decision making. And yeah, what's going on? Lindy. Yeah, you know... Oh, oh, we actually just kicked him out. We literally just kicked him out. Nice. Awesome. Uh, You know what? I'll, because... Uh, Germany probably needs a few colonies. You know, it would be nice that... What happened here? Wait, why did... Why does the British have Kenya? Yeah, we'll give them a colony. Even though, actually, uh... When will this blow up at us? Drift point one three. Does it go up any higher if we are at war, maybe? Maybe not? I, I'm, I'm making a few more troop troops here, too, as well, so... Oh! Oh, we were at peace. Wait, what happened? They just... Uh, okay. Well then. Very nice. Cool. They have less prestige. They're now fifth in the world, which doesn't help us that much, but hey. They're just barely above us. Literally barely above us. But, you know what? I think we'll end the episode there. It's gone on long enough. So, I will see you... We will see? No. Well, I, can't, I gotta stop saying stuff like that. And saying all right as well. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link if you haven't already in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, when we might have some colonial crisis or, and or problem. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.